Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So we alluded to yesterday that the tropics, they were going to start waking up, and that's what we are seeing. We've got this tropical wave, which is working its way over Puerto Rico, bringing quite a bit of heavy rain. That's heading towards Hispaniola later on tonight into tomorrow. Then way out into the Atlantic, we now have potential tropical cyclone number six yeah big name that's what they give these systems when they haven't quite reached that threshold to become a tropical system but they're close to land and the potential is they will be as a near that area of land and so you can see this this wave working its way off the coastline a lot of convection still hasn't doesn't have that well-defined center just yet but you can see in the proximity to the Cabo Verde Islands. In fact, they've already put tropical storm warnings out for these islands. They're going to get between about four to eight inches of rain as we go through the next 24 to 36 hours. So here's the location, 12.9 degrees north, 18.4 degrees west. Right now, winds are at about 30 miles an hour. It's moving to the west at 12 miles an hour. It will continue that track as it moves past the islands, possibly coming tropical storm Florence. It continuing to become a hurricane as we get into the first part of next week. Now, the long-range forecast shows this moving towards the northwest and eventually more towards the north as it reaches a weakness in the ridge, which will keep this out over open waters. Now, here's a closer view of that tropical wave moving over Puerto Rico. Still has a lot of wind shear over this system, and that will continue to bring a lot of heavy rains across Puerto Rico heading into Hispaniola as we go through the next couple of days. Now this is heading basically towards Florida and this over the past couple of days the European model has been picking up on this system and basically it was saying man maybe this will become a tropical depression as it heads towards Florida. The GFS model looked at this and said no no this is going to basically stay a tropical wave. Now the European has backed off on that and is now coming in line with what the GFS is saying but you know what it really doesn't matter whether this is a tropical depression or just a tropical wave essentially the forecast is the same and that is just a bunch of rain heading towards the state. You can see that in the precipital water that red shade working its way over the Bahamas and heading towards the state just enhancing those showers and thunderstorms as we get into the first part of next week so we'll continue to watch both of these areas and keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com